Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 category bulk upload uh, plugin using the CSV XML or the XLS files. So we'll be showing you how with the help of this particular plugin the Magento 2 web store owner would be able to import and export a bulk number of categories within a store and this can be done using a CSV XLS or an XML uh, file and the uh, bulk categories can be imported into the Magento 2 web store. Uh, there are also sample files that we have set up so uh, it makes your work much easier so you just need to enter the details for the categories and upload it to uh, uh, get the uh, categories in bulk with the new Magento 2 web store and uh, the admin can do one click export categories in a CSV format for various Magento stores that you're having and uh, that's much so we'll see other functionalities as well so uh, let's uh, go to the web store uh, backend configuration and let's see what different configurations are there for the category bulk upload using csv xml xls for magento 2 and thereafter we'll be seeing the flow of the web store front end as well so let me take you to the hidden backend panel now so i'm at the uh, backend uh, panel for my magento 2 web store so i'll be entering my username password and tapping on the sign in button to access the uh, back end of my Magento 2 web store and here we'll be doing some initial configurations for this particular plugin before making use of the same so I've logged into my uh, back end panel and after you have successfully installed this particular plugin within your Magento 2 web store now you'll be having one uh, option on the side end panel that's the category manager so under that we have two different options one is the manage category mass import and the other one is for managing the category mass export so here, from here, the admin can manage the category mask input and export. So let's see uh, both of these uh, options, uh, how the admin can make use of it and the rest of the features for the same. So I'll just open them up in uh, another window. Let me check, close that window up. So uh, under the uh, manage category mask import here, you can see that we have uh, the option to import the categories very easily. Here you can find the simple uh, or the sample CSV, XML and the XLS files as well. So uh, for now I'll just uh, show you the sample CSV file. Let me download that up on my system and thereafter we'll be uh, seeing the different columns that are there available within that particular uh, file that would be used for the uh, importing of multiple categories in bulk within our Magento 2 web store. And let me open that file up. So after filling up the details in the uh, uh, respective columns, you just need to upload your file here. And uh, for here, you, you upload your file. And then, and uh, for the images, uh, you just need to upload the images in a zip folder. And uh, that uh, is to be uploaded here. So in the first one, you'll upload your CSV, XML, or the XLS uh, files having the uh, uh, categories in bulk. And then uh, you'll have to upload your images uh, zip file uh, that would be the images for the categories or the respective categories of your web store so now let me open the category uh, file first so I opened up the uh, CSV file right now and here you can see that we have different columns like the category ID categories parent ID the store uh, the name of the product uh, name of the uh, categories there the path is active includes in is anchor meta title meta keywords meta description and other details as well like the uh, products and the description other so from here the uh, admin can enter the uh, category so for example here you can see the, that the admin has entered the main category and uh, below that we have the subcategories that is the clothes so we have set up the uh, men forward slash clothes and similarly for uh, reaching the uh, products uh, we've also set up the men clothes and the t-shirts and similarly for the pants jeans trousers formal and similarly uh, it goes for the women as well so the category is men and the women and the rest of the things are under the uh, parent uh, category apart from that the admin has uh, set up here uh, the store where these uh, would be visible uh, basically and one more thing that the category id is uh, basically it would uh, it uh, will be blank while creating new categories as uh, the uh, category ID of a new category would be decided by the uh, SQL incrementer although the category ID will be visible in the CSV while we are uh, exporting the same 
and uh, and uh, here you can see the name column is there and basically the admin needs to enter uh, the name of the category that he wants to import and then we have the path and this uh, is uh, basically the path of the category uh, for uh, for uh, the uh, what we say as the so uh, basically uh, the admin would be able to set up this uh, path of the category for this he has to enter the category IDs followed by the forward slash for example you can see that uh, right now we haven't edited anything so we can set it as uh, 1 forward slash 2 forward slash 3 and then uh, we have the active uh, to display the categories at the front end so you can choose it as a one to display otherwise uh, to disable you can choose it as a zero you can set up the anchor as well and can set one to make the category clickable in the uh, menu bar at the front end otherwise you can choose this option as a zero and similarly you can set up the meta title meta keywords and the meta description so this was the uh, details of the uh, category csv file and after you have uh, set up the data there for the categories you can tap here on the choose file option and then you can choose your particular file that you have and thereafter you just need to upload your images and uh, for that uh, basically so uh, under the upload image files uh, basically here the admin needs to enter the category image names uh, which will be the same as in the uh, image zip file that uh, you are going to upload uh, the categories with the images so uh, exact name should be there for the uh, what we say as the uh, so the admin will just enter the uh, category image name which uh, will be the same as in the image zip file and uh, if you are uploading the categories with the images otherwise uh, there's no need to upload the images at the very moment as well so you can see that uh, this is only a required one and thereafter after you uploaded these two files that's the, the, that, that's the category file uh, in the uh, CSV XML or the XSL, XLS uh, format then you can uh, upload your images and then tap here on the save button and that would basically create uh, the uh, categories within your Magento 2 web store now let's go to the manage category mass export uh, section and uh, before that let me show you the uh, import section once again so i've shown you the uh, sample csv file let me open the uh, category xls file and the others uh, to give you an idea how it uh, would be uh, visible to the admin along with the uh, data that's there or the demo data that we have entered uh, so this is the xml file as you can see with the uh, different nodes and here we have the category uh, the category rt and the rest of the details for the category that we're going to enter for the men's and here you can see the uh, men's category is there and here you can see the uh, rest of the uh, categories like the men and below that we have the clothes and similarly the things will, goes on so you can check the uh, user guide as well for uh, much more information there and uh, this is what uh, looks like in a uh, xls file as you can see so this can also be used by the sellers to uh, or the admin to upload the products or import the products in bulk now uh, let's go to the other section that's the manage category mass export and uh, before that let me give you a detailed uh, uh, display of how it uh, happens how the import happens so as soon as uh, we tap the uh, save button there here after uploading both of these files or one and uh, uh, the uh, process begins and uh, it would start importing the products and uh, after the importing uh, is done of the categories the admin can check the uh, categories uh, within the uh, category section uh, within his web store itself back in panel and uh, now let's go to the manage category mass export uh, section so here we can see that we can export our categories that are within our web store we can choose different store waves uh, to uh, basically export the different uh, categories for each of the stores there and uh, to export the categories we just need to tap here on the export categories button and uh, it would download our, uh, our categories that are there within our Magento 2 web store and uh, it's downloaded in the comma separated variable file let me open that up and let's see what different categories are there within the same so I'll just open it up and tap OK on the CSV file 
and that will bring up all of the categories that are there within my Magento 2 web store as you can see right now along with all of the data there uh, for the categories so uh, this is how we can do an export of the categories within our Magento 2 web store and uh, you can also take the import uh, process by using the different file types that we have provided and uh, using them you just need to enter these details accordingly and uh, then you can uh, basically import the categories or the new categories that you want to import in your web store and to give you a comparison here for the exported uh, categories if I go to the front end uh, for my web store you can see that we have uh, clothing footwear electronics decor furniture bookings and the courses and the same is being uh, displayed here within the uh, categories uh, exported file as you can see so under the clothing we have casuals and the formals as well so if I go back to uh, clothing we have casuals and then formals under the footwear we have stilettos and uh, if I go back to the CSV file and under the footwear we have the stilettos so uh, that was much about the uh, category bulk upload using the CSV XML or the XLS files for the Magento 2 web store uh, itself and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow and if you still have any questions queries or uh, suggestions uh, then uh, you can always get back to us at support at the of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com I've also attached the user guide and the store link along with the live demo so you can go ahead and you can check the same and uh, that's it and uh, thanks for watching this particular video